Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Lisa Stroda, a holistic nutritionist and a coactive coach in training. For 25 years, I've lived with autoimmune disease, been on a journey of self-discovery, and have been curious as to what makes people tick. The Tell Me Your Story podcast is dedicated to learning what influences, events, and decisions help others live out their destiny. Thank you for listening today. Everyone has a story worth telling. Today, I sit down with Kim Nelson, owner of QC Fuel, a drive through coffee shop in the Quad Cities. Kim's going to tell us what makes QC Fuel different from other coffee shops. What are the attributes she looks for when hiring employees? This may surprise you. And how easy it is to get your drink at QC Fuel. This episode originally aired on my other podcast, the Tell Me Your Story podcast. You can find Kim Nelson Martin's contact information at the Holistic Life Coach Podcast.com or at LSWellnessQC.com. Would you like to share your story of how someone or some event shaped your life? Do you think you'll be a good fit for the show? Contact me through the show's website, theholisticlifecoachpodcast.com. We'll get on the horn and chat. And now, Kim Nelson Martin of QC Fuel. Kim Nelson owns and operates QC Fuel, a coffee shop that also serves protein shakes and smoothies with three locations, two in Moline, Illinois, and one in Bettendorf, Iowa. Welcome, Kim, to the Tell Me Your Story podcast. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having me on here. So I'm, I'm glad you're here today. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my first Great. podcast. Can, so. can you tell me? Awesome. Oh, I'm honored. <laughs> I'm honored. And can can you tell me what? Where did you get the inspiration or idea from to start your business? Well, well, we started it in, um, well, yeah, I got started getting the ideas, I guess, put together in the summer of 2017. Um, I had run a couple other businesses with, uh, with my, my ex and kind of looking to do my own, Mm -hmm. my own business. Um, at the time I had previously done, uh, the little, little trivia fact here. I used to do like wedding cakes and birthday cakes and kind of the elaborate stuff. And so for, for a hot minute, I was contemplating, uh, buying this little building on 53rd street in Moline and turning it into like a little, uh, bakery. But my, um, I mean, it had already been a coffee shop, um, that had closed down about five years before that and just kind of sat empty. So I thought maybe I would pick up with that coffee theme and do maybe coffee and some baked goods. But um, honestly, my, my lifestyle had really changed over that past like year, year and a half. Um, And I was in a much healthier uh, fit lifestyle and baking really didn't uh, fit fit with me anymore. And not to mention baking is a very one person job and it's nights and weekends and it's, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's just not, not something that was really appealing to me once I kind of looked into it further. So, um, I really just, um, Mm -hmm. you know, I started thinking about what the quad cities really was kind of lacking. Um, I did not want to open up just another little mom and pop coffee shop where, you know, kind of that's been there, you know, been there, done that um, several times over. So uh, I really, you know, I wanted something that people could go to if they're, you know, busy parent that they could grab something healthier for them if they wanted um, something for the kids or, you know, or get their coffee or their smoothie or their fit wrap, but also have, you know, some healthier options available, some sugar-free and some keto-friendly options and some healthier vitamin based energy drinks. So, um, you know, at the time, unless you really belong to a gym, you couldn't get a protein shake anywhere unless you were making it at home. So that was, that was kind of the start of, uh, yeah. start of my ideas of, of where, you know, where it started going from there. 
no. Um, oh, right now, I, where did yeah. where do you come up with um, like the recipe for the shakes and uh, the drinks? Do you just? I well, know you're a very creative was, person. Yeah. Do you come up with those? Yeah, and- that that was kind of like my uh, instead of doing cakes and being creative in that fashion. Uh, it kind of turned into, you know, like a, I feel like I'm a mad scientist sometimes like in the coffee shop, mixing and blending and, and trying out some different recipes. So a lot of them just kind of came from just trying, trying some things out. Um, when I was getting, when I was doing the research to, to find out, uh, like what kind of equipment I wanted, what kind of POS systems I wanted, what kind of reporting systems, um, you know, just kind of how I wanted everything to be set up. Uh, one of the things I, I did was I ran into a vendor in Atlanta uh, who helped me. They kind of sold like package deals, I guess. So I got all my, all my internal equipment, my, my blenders and my espresso machines and such from, from him. And he had actually owned several coffee shops in the past. And so he was a really vital uh, resource for me as far as um, pointing me in the right direction is like, which products to kind of try and use. And uh, I flew down to Atlanta and actually did a little training with them for a couple of days, just to even learn how to use an espresso machine because I had never even used one before. Um, And uh, he, he sent me home with some samples and I just kind of started blending and mixing and um, just kind of, you know, seeing, handing things out to friends and family. And um, when we first hired the staff, we had a, a house party and tried a bunch of stuff and, just kind of, just kind of evolved from there. But um, I had to have the menu completely uh, planned out before we could even open because with my the touchscreen kiosk that we had, um, there was a team of people basically that were developing that for me. So I had to have not only the menu created, but photos and uh, how I wanted it laid out. And uh, there was a lot of, lot of, lot of planning involved so when people ask me about oh I'm thinking about opening a coffee shop I just kind of giggle I'm like well (laughs) okay there's a you know it was a lot more to it uh okay yeah it's there's a lot more to it I guess you can do it as as hard or as simple as you want but um for me I I just wanted to make sure that I did everything very uh very high-tech very um mainstream um, the, the best products available, uh, the highest quality. Um, I, I had intentions of opening more than one shop from the beginning. Uh, like I said, I just, I never really wanted to just have one little cute shop. I kind of wanted to take over the whole Quad City. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. No. There's, um, so you wanted more of like um, a brand. Than- Absolutely. Yeah. Like you said, um, just... Mm-hmm. Yep. I w- branding is, was okay. super important to me. And, um, even coming up with the name, uh, you know, fuel just, there was really, uh, you know, I had like another, you know, little name picked out when I was thinking about doing a bakery, but that, that quickly fell to the wayside. And, um, so fuel was really my first and only pick for, mm-hmm. for the name. I thought it just fit. I thought it, I thought it's simple. It's clean. Uh, it says exactly what, what I wanted to, um, you know, fuel your body, um, was kind of, is my, my slogan. Um, you know, we threw a QC in front of it because, you know, you know, QC fuel, um, obviously the website was available. The Gmail was available. Um, you know, I was able to, to brand the QC fuel name and, you know, create the LLC with that. So, um, you know, it spoke directly to what I wanted to do. Um, sort of fit right right in right to my skill set you know part of my my setup was to have a limited menu Uh so you could order things quickly and get your items quickly so I only have like two sizes we only do uh, lattes for instance like we don't do the cappuccinos and some of the other you know the whole line of coffee drinks we do full no foam full cup lattes so basically pick your flavor okay. pick your size we hey, offer two sizes um, you know uh what I'm thank you have a great gonna... <laughs> so i'm able to really train and develop um all of our mm-hmm. all of our, our associates 
Um, there is quite a bit of training that goes on into hiring people. And fortunately, um, over the two and a half years, we've had some really great retention. I've got, I've, I still have, I have people that have worked for me for, for two years. Um, obviously you're going to get the transitional ones that are in school and, and people that just kind of, you know, don't make the cut. But, um, you know, when I'm hiring, I tell people, I, I can train a monkey to do this job, but I can't train, you know, can't train you to have personality. Um, I want the the speed of Jimmy John's, but the the customer service of Chick Fil A. So that's kind of my my ongoing theme is, uh, you know, when dealing with customers, uh, you know, channeling your inner Kim. Like, what would Kim do? What would what would she do? And I, you know, as long as they have the best interest in with customers in mind, um, you know, we guarantee all of our drinks. So if you are not happy with something, please return it. We'll remake it. It's something different. Um, if you're ordering something for the first time, my, my team, especially like the protein shakes, because we have a, a few different styles of protein shakes and some of them are, are a true protein shakes, which are just like whey protein, like milk and uh, ice and you know maybe you want to add like peanut butter or banana or something but they're they're healthy um, they're pretty much a true whey protein and that's a lot different than you might get somewhere else that has a little bit mm-hmm. more of like a fruit flavoring to it which uh, will add some sugar we do offer those too um, but it just depends on you know where where you're at and what you want and um, so my my team is is trained on making sure that they're really having those conversations with their customers, especially if they're new to make sure that they, they kind of understand what they're ordering, have them try it before they leave. You know, if they're not happy with it, we'll, we'll add some more stuff to it or just make them something different. Um, But just, you know, making sure that they're not getting a drink that they don't really Mm -hmm. understand what they're getting driving away Mm -hmm. thinking, Oh, QC feel sucks. Like, no, it's just, that's just not, it just wasn't the right, what they had in mind. So, you know, having, having that right, or having that right associate that can have those conversations with customers is what's really, uh, really important. And then, you know, just being able to multitask, because when we get busy, we're, you know, we might have three blenders going at the same time. You know, you have to have like 10 arms and, and three toes and, you know, everything just working blenders and mixing and, and really kind of keeping your wits about you. Um, you know, if, if you don't do well in a high paced, somewhat higher anxiety, uh, can be, uh, during busy times, you know, you, you're not going to make it there. Um, you gotta be able to kind of multitask and, and, uh-huh. uh, and, and yeah. stay positive. That, and, you know, I, had, um, there was a, a gal I went to high school with and she, um, she worked at the local coffee shop and she, unfortunately the, she had an accident at home and mm-hmm. she passed away at a young age. She was in her forties and yeah. um, I was reading her, you know, her legacy page and so many people from the coffee shop had written about her. And said mm-hmm. that they had looked forward to her, uh, you know, her being positive and being cheerful in the morning. And that seeing her w- made a difference in their day. This one right. guy said that, uh, you know, I always looked forward mm-hmm. to her smile and her cheerfulness in the morning. Even I would get up and I knew I had meetings all day and I really didn't want to go to work. But I knew if I stopped by that coffee shop that, you know, she would make me feel better hand me my coffee mm-hmm. and I'd be on my way of a good start to my day. So when you talk about hiring for personality, I mean, right. that yes, makes it's such important. a huge difference. And I, sometimes I don't think um, mm-hmm. people in the service industry um, realize that they really do make a difference in people's days, you know? Right. That's like, it's kind of like, yeah, we, we have had, um, tremendous, mm-hmm. uh, support. It's kind of, yeah. It's almost like a, you know, a mm-hmm. secret power that, you know, they have to influence people. And even though it, and in the, <laughs> in the, in the, in the service industry, I mean, you know, you have to put up with a lot. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it takes a certain personality, somebody who's conscientious and, you know, em- empathetic to what, people are going through. And mm-hmm. like you said, you're, you're doing you know, right. three, you know, many things at once. So, 
um, that you know you have to have that skill set too. So um, now you know I have to ask since I am yeah. uh, vice president of the Quad City Celiac Group, um, do you have gluten free or can you make gluten free uh, protein uh-huh. shakes uh, or, do you, or do you have gluten free snacks? Anything like that? Um, I don't really have any snacks. We everything that we have is is like prepackaged stuff. So as far as like foods concerned, like we're really it's not we have it, but it's really not not something that we it's a big focus of ours. Um, a lot of our products are naturally gluten free. Um, I couldn't. I'd have to look at my my list off the top of my head. I do have kind of a spreadsheet that we could tell you, but. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of our stuff's gluten-free unless of course, uh, you know, it's one of the, the specialty drinks that we're going to add, you know, graham crackers or something to, obviously we would leave all that stuff out, but, um, you know, we can make dairy free, uh, uh, smoothies. Um, we have a lot of, uh, well, we offer a whole mm-hmm. milk and skim milk and then we have almond milk, soy and heavy whipping cream as our dairy alternatives too. So, if somebody's looking for uh, a lower calorie or a keto friendly, um, you know, we have a couple options for them there. Um, the gluten free is a little bit, it's a little harder to, um, uh, for me to remember just off the cuff without having to look at it. But I know a lot of like our frappuccinos, um, those are gluten free mm-hmm. unless we add, of course, the stuff to it. But, um, but yeah, I can let people, I can let anybody know. Like if anybody has any specific questions about things, I get emails all the time, either sent to me through the QC Fuel Facebook page. Um, well, probably mostly through there. Um, then I can answer specific questions if anybody has any dietary restrictions or needs. So, um, you know, the heavy whipping cream is used quite a lot with our, like our sugar-free, mm-hmm. our sugar-free lattes um, for more of a keto-friendly okay. option as well. Okay. And, and you have three locations right now? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we have three. The two in Moline. Um, the 53rd Street Moline is uh, kind of by behind where the old Kmart was near the East Moline border. And then on 15th Street Moline, um, it is over by uh, by the by the Whitey's and Happy Joe's and uh, kind of where 15th and 16th mm-hmm. kind of split off in that V. Um, we're kind of right in that middle of the, right behind Camfield's auto. So that location was our second location. And that one's kind of unique because it was actually built out of, uh, made from three shipping containers. So we were the first ones in the, uh, the quad cities to actually have a, to have a shipping container, um, building. So that took a little bit of, uh, of, uh, (laughs) getting, getting over some city issues and, and going back and forth with with the city on on getting that built but that was finally built and then um right after that one that one just opened a year ago actually we just had its first anniversary and then uh right at the same time we were basically opening the Bettendorf location as well so November will be the the one year anniversary for the Bettendorf location and that is down um right at the base of the bridge at the uh the BP Mart um building so you can access it from grant street or state street so it's at the end of the uh the bp mark kind of opposite of the gas station and then uh, we're actually looking to expand we we want to do like at least four or five locations right now we're looking at some other iowa locations so stay tuned hopefully we've got something coming up another one in bentendorf um that we got our Mm -hmm. got some initial initial uh plans going so nothing nothing set in stone yet but that's wonderful but working on it you've expanded you know quickly too you know yeah. from your one location then and then to him yeah mm-hmm. yeah i got very yeah yes um a lot of that has contributed to um about six Six or seven months after I opened my first location, um, I was actually approached by uh, my business partner, uh, Jim Thompson, who is a local um, 
kind of a local entrepreneur himself. He's uh, made his name in some real estate um, businesses and has some other local businesses. Um, like he is part of Landjet and his latest one is the Unimpaired, which is the non-alcoholic um, bar that's downtown Davenport. So he has um, he has a vast knowledge of businesses and he he uh, kind of stumbled upon upon QC Fuel and loved the concept, liked the organization, liked the the speed and efficiency um, that we have in our operations. And when we partnered up, he was really the um, my key to uh, really expanding so quickly and and having having his backing behind me. So he's he's the he's a quiet partner and I'm the one, you know, I don't want anything to do with any of that business then stuff. I just want to deal with customers and associates and making customers happy and making new drinks and, uh, do, I love doing the marketing and I do all the marketing for us and, um, opening new shops. Like that's my, that's my favorite thing. So getting it all up and running, it's and exciting. How, does, how do you keep motivated when, you know, building a business like this? How can an ap- entrepreneur, uh, keep motivated by uh, going through this well you know it's i i personally just i love to see i love to see the growth i love um you know just hearing new people try us out um the customer interaction that we have um is just really motivates me um to do more and to make sure that we are um we're really satisfying every customer. Um, I personally reply to any, any customer issue that we may have or that may come up. I mean, obviously we try not to have any, but you know, things do come up and and there have been issues. And I, I reach out to every single person and make sure that they are, you know, they are taken care of and, um, that we are, um, you know, we, I just never let anything I never let anybody go unhappy for one thing. So, you know, it's, it's just a constant, um, for me, my, part of my issue is my brain just doesn't shut off ever. So, you know, I'm always trying to think of what we can do differently or what kind of marketing can we do or what kind of new products can we, we come out with? Um, you know, if I, can I run a promotion or, um, you know, just really what, what's next, what's the next thing. But, um, it's really just me and my, my, my brain that's all over the place. So yeah. It sounds to me that the way you measure success is yeah. if your, your customers are happy and if you're able to, if something does come up, if there's a problem that you are, that you, you know, you're happy to solve that. If you're able to solve that for them, that is one of your, mm-hmm. Measures of success. Yeah. I know some people look at spreadsheets, some people, and, and that's fine. But yeah, absolutely. You know, I, that's what it sounds like mm-hmm. to me. That's what you're saying. So, um, hmm. yeah, um, you know, obviously the bottom line, you have to have, you know, the numbers to, to make sure that you can have a tomorrow to help customers, you know, and make sure that the sales are there. But um, you're never going to get there unless you have the customer support and, you know, with, with so many different places to choose from, you know, what's going to set you apart from anywhere else. And so it, it's hands down the team that I have and the people that, that work for QC fuel and, and the policies that we have in place and the customer service that we have in place. And, um, you know, just making sure that everybody is, everybody is happy with, with their, with their drink and their order and, and, and every experience is a good one. And, um, you know, that's, you're not going to have a business if you, if you don't have, if you don't have that, or even if you have that inconsistently, you're not going to have a business. You know, unfortunately people will share, uh, will share something negative what they say like 10 times, but you know, positive, well, maybe only once or twice. So you got to work extra hard to make sure that, that those positive, um, messages are, are getting out and received. But, um, the one thing that we do too is, uh, I'm sure you've seen our, the sleeves that go in all of our cups have cute little sayings. And um, at one point we've had over 40 different sayings on these, uh, on these sleeves. I've I've narrowed it down. I've narrowed them down to like our top 20 
right now that we're kind of using, but you know, they're either motivational or, or inspirational or just kind of funny. Um, but you know, customers kind of do my marketing for me, so to speak, because they'll, they'll, they'll get a wrap that maybe will speak to them that day and they'll take a selfie with it or a photo of it and, and post it and tag us. And then I'll, I'm able to share that. So, you know, people are, people are enjoying us. People are enjoying our drinks and our products and our, and our wraps and our, and our customer service. And, and when they share those experiences, you know, that's, that's the message. And that's the, what I'm trying to, to convey to everybody is, um, uh-huh. is really just more of a, of an atmosphere. You know, I mean, we have great products, we have great coffee, but you know, so do other people. Exactly. So yeah, what sets us yeah. apart? What sets you apart from, um, the other drive up coffee, mm-hmm. uh, shops and, um, yeah, you just answered that for me. Did, um, now do you have any, um, right. special, are you running any offers or promotions right now that you'd like to tell us about well we have a really great loyalty program um it's an app called five stars and every time you come to the window we capture your phone number um we just type it into this thing we don't retain them or call anybody it's just used to pull up your account and every time you come through, um, you get a point. After 10 points, you get a $5 coupon in there. So um, we, we're kind of rewarding customer loyalty for coming back to us. Um, and through the app, I'm able to send out special promotions or discounts. So um, you know, every once in a while, I'll do a you know, buy one, get one half off or $2 off special. Or um, you know, during the pandemic, we were able to put out some promotions offering special discounts. And and free items to uh, first responders and nurses. And um, we, we always offer uh, free coffee to on duty police officers. They just have to come through and grab a cup of coffee anytime that they want. Um, You know, keep, keep those guys uh, caffeinated, especially, (laughs) you know, Um, but you know, we, yeah, we do have, uh, we offer delivery service to, um, right now we only offer it Monday through Friday, 8 AM to 2 PM. And we only offer it to, to business locations. We don't have a, a residential delivery at this point, but, um, anywhere in like the Moline or Bettendorf cities, um, if you're a business, it just has to be, there's no fee for it, but it just has to be a, a $10 minimum. Um, so we run those out of our 53rd street location. Um, you just, you can just call, uh, 833 and then 8333 QC fuel. And that will call the store and you can place your order um, and then have that, have that delivered. Um, and we have a lot of, a lot of hospitals actually in the area uh, taking advantage of that too. So um, we get, you know, we, we're keeping the nurses uh, fully caffeinated and happy during the day. So proud of that fact great, too. Great, um... <laughs> oh, and we do a, we do a 10% okay. mil- we do a 10% military okay, discount great. too. And, I forgot um, about that. So, Oh, I wanted to ask you, did, how, has the pandemic affected your business in any way? Mm-hmm. I know some, some businesses it's hurt and some actually thrived during the yeah, pandemic. It, yeah. You know, um, fortunately we were on the, um, uh, on the positive side of things, um, you know, crazy things happen when everybody else closes down and you're the only one left standing. Um, I said, I felt like we were the shrimp boat in Forrest Gump. Like when all the other boats went down, we were the only ones left. So, um, you know, even our, some of our competitors, um, closed down for an entire month. So we were able to really, um, pick up some new customers who, you know, unfortunately, you know, people are creatures of habits and, um, you know, especially coffee shops will go, you'll go get your same thing Mm -hmm. repetitively. And and we have those too. But um, when, you know, you close down for a month and people are forced to try new things, we, we were fortunate enough to be able to pick up a a lot of new customers who, um, you know, told us through our Facebook page that they had tried us for the first time and were very pleased. And um, through the five star apps, I could see that we, you know, picked up a lot of new p- customers on our loyalty app. So we're able to really, um, keep in contact with all of those people. But, uh, it was, it was just a weird, uh, it was a weird time because we were, I mean, fortunately we were crazy busy. 
but I had, you know, I had lost a few associates who, you know, didn't want to, didn't feel comfortable working and, and that was fine. You know, I, I guaranteed everybody a, a job um, whenever they wanted to come back, but if they didn't want to work, they didn't have to work. Um, most of my staff chose to stay on and we really did not have any uh, issues, fortunately, with the, with the pandemic hitting us. Um, the, um, so I, I, I had increased business, a lower staff. Um, I couldn't get my supplies. Um, stores were closed or stores were limiting their stock. I couldn't, you know, I, I buy probably 12 gallons of milk or more every day for my three shops and stores were limiting like two or three gallons. So for me, I've never had a quarantine day during this whole thing because I've actually had to go to more locations and more stores to pick up to, you know, to get things. It's leveled out now. It's not, you know, that's not an issue anymore, but uh, yeah, for a while it was, it was a little crazy, like uh, just the amount of running around uh, just trying to, just trying to, keep up with the pace, but, um, I'm definitely not complaining about that because we, we did increase business and we were able to pick up some new customers during, during it. So, um, we, we made the best out of the, out of a bad situation. So people can find you at qcfuel.com or your Facebook page Mm -hmm. and they can find you on Instagram yeah. Yep. QC Fuel. I would recommend if you're new to QC Fuel because it is a touchscreen kiosk. So when you pull up in your car, it's like a giant iPad. So if people are not familiar with the menu, it can be a little intimidating at first because um, you know nobody is. Uh, I mean, we do greet you over the speaker, and we do uh, we are able to communicate with you and, and answer any questions you might have. And some people just you know uh, feel more comfortable going to the window, uh, just to order, but, um, that does cause a little bit of a backup. So we try to try to train and educate customers to use a kiosk as much as possible, um, just to make sure the flow of, you know, we can get everybody's, um, Mm -hmm. drinks to them in a timely fashion. But, uh, you know, when you pull up, it's like a giant iPad, you touch the screen. And so if you go to qcfuel.com and click on the online ordering menu, um, it does make you create a little account. That's just your name and email address, uh, which we also don't retain or market to. It's just uh, just for you to be able to access the information. Um, it will pull up the kiosk on your tablet or your computer or your mobile device, just as you would see it if you were in your car. So you're able to kind of play with the menu buttons and and uh, look at the various um, options and and look at the different things. And then you can obviously just order online from there too, and just come and swing up and, and, and pick up your product too. But I'd say anybody who wants to kind of get an idea of what we have, um, check out that menu online. Cause it's kind of cool. It's kind yeah. Of a cool thing. yeah. That's <laughs> always been my thing when I've gone to a, a coffee house, um, or a smoothie bar that I'm intimidated by the menu. <laughs> And then especially I'm order I'm mm-hmm. ordering and I'm looking I'm like, and I'm thinking, right. oh no, I'm taking up too much time. The person behind me is going to get upset. And yeah. So yeah, mm-hmm. that's a, you know, big idea. Yep. Yeah. 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 That happens. Yeah. Well, and the one thing that you can do too with this is if you, a lot of people, since they do have repetitive orders, um, once you place that order at the end, you have the ability to save it um, by using your phone number. So every, so the next time you come back, you can just simply uh, recall that order instead of having to go through the entire order process again. So that's been really uh, beneficial for, for people who, you know, get the same thing over and over again is um, it's just stored by your phone numbers. And that's, um, you know, it's very, it's very high tech system. So it's, I was, uh, very, very happy to, and we were the, the quad city's first touchscreen kiosk actually too. Um, since we've opened, uh, there's been a couple other places that now have the same system, but I was, I was kind of uh, pleased to be able to say we were the first one. So helpful to everyone and and to get things, you know, running smoothly and, you know, you're, Mm -hmm. you're, in a hurry in the morning and you know, your, your order's already in there and you can just reorder. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yep. Yep. We try to make it very convenient for everybody. Yeah. Well, Kim, 
thank you for being on the Tell Me Your Story podcast. Yep. It's been great talking yeah. to you. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. If you're hearing this message, you've listened to our new episode all the way through. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You can find Kim's contact information at qcfuel.com and in the show notes at the Holistic Life Coach Podcast.com. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with your friends, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review wherever you listen to your podcasts, and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. To catch all the latest from me, you can follow me on Instagram at the Holistic Life Coach Podcast and at the Holistic Life Coach Podcast on Facebook. Thanks again. Until next time, beautiful souls. Thank you.